Good morning. Thank you for joining me today. I've got a nice, juicy 30-minute flow for you all today. We're going to get started in a child's pose. So go ahead and bring your booty to your heels. You can have your knees out wide or together. Bring your palms in front of you and your forehead down to kiss the mat. Reaching your palms up overhead and just settling in. Start to turn on your ujjayi breath, the constriction in the back of your throat. And breathe a little deeper. Welcoming in that air to your lungs. Filling up your belly, your ribs, your chest. And exhaling from your chest, your ribs, your belly. Start to walk your way up to a tabletop position, your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. Go ahead, bring your hips out to the right side and your shoulders reaching to the left. And switch directions, bringing your hips to the left and your shoulders to the right. And just come side to side, kind of wagging your butt side to side. Mm, doing things a little differently from going right into a cat-cow. Mm, come to center and take some barrel rolls. Inhale, drop your belly down. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, drop your belly. Exhale, round your back in circles. Bringing your ribs to the right, up to the left and down, really pushing the ground away. Mm, switch directions, bringing your ribs to the right and down to the left, up. And just kind of getting the synovial fluid moving around all the joints in your spine getting warmed up and ready for practice. Hmm, come to stillness here. Go ahead and lift up to your downward facing dog. Hmm, your heels are reaching towards the mat. They might reach, they might not. They don't have to. Gripping the mat with your full hand, your palms, your fingers, your knuckles, all of it. Start to pedal out your feet, first downward dog of the day. And start to walk your feet up to meet your hands at the front of your mat. Meet me here in forward fold. Let your head hang, shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Inhale, sweep your arms up, coming up to standing, arms overhead. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, swan dive forward, flat back to forward fold. And inhale, lift up to halfway lift, flat back. Your hands can be on your shins or on the ground. Trying to get your back nice and flat and straight, reaching your crown forward, continue to breathe. Exploring this shape a little bit more than we usually do. And exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale up once again to your halfway lift. Flat back, crown of your head reaching forward. And exhale, fold. Inhale, coming up to standing. 
arms over head, scooping up all that energy. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lifting your left knee up, bringing it parallel to the ground, your thigh. We're gonna hinge forward into a warrior three, starting to balance on that right foot, hinging forward, bringing our chest parallel to the ground, just how we did in that halfway lift and bringing our back leg out long so we have a nice long straight line from the top of our head to the bottom of that heel. It's like you're stomping in the ground behind you. You have a slight bend in your right knee. If you want to grow your arms out overhead, you're welcome to do that. You're also welcome to take our airplane arms with your arms behind you. Just another moment here in stillness. And then reach back with that left foot. Sweep your arms up overhead, coming into a crescent lunge. Your back knee can be bent or straight. Both your toes are facing forwards. Continue to breathe. I'm gonna open to warrior two, bringing the right knee over top of that right ankle. Your left back foot is at a 45 degree angle. Your drishti, your gaze over the right hand in front of you. We're gonna come into a side angle, extended side angle, but let's take a funky variation. So lean forward, keeping your right arm straight, bringing your left arm up overhead. And so you're holding a big ball right here. Reaching up, really reaching forward to hold that ball. And let's bring this ball, inhale overhead, coming into star pose. So now both your toes are facing the left side of the mat. We're gonna exhale, goddess squat. Inhale, reaching up, getting really big. Exhale, goddess squat. Let something out. Inhale, reaching up. Last time, lion's breath, stick out your tongue. Inhale, reaching up back to star. And exhale, coming back into your crescent, facing the front of the mat. We're gonna take some airplane arms. So bring your arms back, your chest forward. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, arms back, bringing your right shoulder towards your right knee. Inhale, up. One last time, exhale back. And on this inhale, you're gonna step your left foot forward, arms up to meet your right foot. And exhale, sit into your chair. And hands to heart center. We're gonna take a twisted chair, bringing your left elbow to meet your right thigh. Right shoulder is up, your shoulders are stacked. Your hands are in prayer, Anjali Mudra. Your gaze can be up at the ceiling or out to the side. And inhale, sweep your arms back up. Exhale, fold. This time, walk your hands to the left. In this forward fold, Uttanasana, walk your hands to the right. To the left, maybe you're bending your knees a little more than usual here. To the right. To the left. And come back to center. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lifting your right leg this time. And exhale, hinging forward for your warrior three on this side. You might have a slight bend in your left leg. You're also welcome, of course, to take a supported warrior. Nice flat back, kicking that heel back behind you. Crown of your head to the bottom of your heel is a straight line.
Just another moment here. You're welcome, of course, to bring your arms overhead or out behind you, airplane arms. And step your right foot back, crescent lunge, sweep your arms up overhead. Your right knee can be bent or not. Your left knee is definitely bent. Arms are up overhead. You're also, of course, welcome to cactus your arms here if you feel a little crunchy in your shoulders. <sighs> Opening up to warrior two, facing the right side of our mat. Left leg is bent. Right foot is at a 45 degree angle. Arms are parallel to the ground. Your gaze is over your left arm. <sighs> Can you sink a little deeper? Going to inhale into that extended side angle, reaching your left arm out in front, your right arm up overhead. And then coming up to your star pose. Both your feet are now pivoted facing the right side of your mat. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, back up star. Exhale, goddess. <sighs> Let something out. Inhale, star. Last one, lion's breath. Tongue comes out. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, back up for your star. Exhale, coming back to crescent lunge in the front of your mat. <sighs> Once again, airplane arms. Exhale, reaching your left shoulder to your left knee. Arms come back. In on, inhale, back up to standing. Exhale, reach your shoulders forward, arms back. Inhale, back up to standing. Exhale, one last time, airplane arms. And on this exhale, we're going to step our right foot forward. Inhale, bringing our arms up overhead. Exhale to chair. Sink a little deeper. Bring hands to heart center, and this time, twist to the left, bringing your right elbow to your left leg. Anjali Mudra to the left. Shoulder blades are stacked on top of each other. Your gaze is out to the side, to the left, or up above you. Continue to breathe here. Go ahead and come back to center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive forward. In this forward fold, you'll take one vinyasa. So plant your hands, step your feet back. Coming down, chaturanga, onto your belly. Untuck your toes. Cobra or up dog. And exhale to your downward dog. What you got? He likes to bring in little sticks and chew on them. <sighs> Walk your hands to the back of your mat to meet your feet at the back. Inhale, coming up to Tadasana, hands on the sides. From here, you're going to lift up your left knee in front of you. Bring out your leg long. Bring your knee back. Now take tree for kasana. You're welcome to have your foot planted on the ground, on your calf, your inner thigh. Your hands can be here in front of you, up above you. Your hips are facing forward in the front of the mat. Shoulders are out of your ears, down and back. Now once again, bring your knee out in front of you. Straighten out that leg. And we're gonna step forward into a triangle position or what would be a pyramid position, but we are gonna turn into a triangle. So step this foot forward. Hello, baby. Shift your hips open to the right. Your back right foot's in a 45 degree angle. Your front toes are facing the front of the mat. Your hips have shifted, so your hips are facing the right side of your mat. Sorry, I've got my button, your face. Your arms are parallel to the ground. Hinge forward and then tilt 
into your triangle, your trikonasana. It is as if someone is pulling your right hip up to the ceiling and your right arm up to the ceiling. You need to breathe here in this posture, in this asana. Your body should be totally flat. So make sure to bring your shoulder blade back. From here, circle this arm around and come to Skandasana. Left knee is bent, right foot is up. You're a Skandasana front of the mat. Your shoulder blades are up. You're of course welcome to have your hands down and that foot lifted if you would please. It is your body and you should do what you want with it. What makes your body feel good. Of course, stay curious and open, but honor yourself. And plant your hands. Maybe you bring your right hand behind you. Coming to a seat, bring your left foot inside your right leg, your right inner thigh. Your hips are now squared facing the back of your mat, facing your right leg. Inhale, reach up, exhale, hinge forward, grabbing your calf, your ankle, your foot, bringing your head towards your knee. And on your next exhale, maybe you go a little deeper into the bend. Start to work yourself up. Bring your hands to the other side of your left leg. Coming into a pigeon with your right leg out behind you. Your left shin is near parallel to the front of the mat. It doesn't have to be parallel. Making sure your hips are squared to the front of the mat. Coming down onto your elbows. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you fold and bring your forehead to the ground. And relax into your pigeon pose. Start to work your way up from this position, bringing your hands in your shoulders, bringing your knee back and lifting back up into a downward facing dog. And pedal out your feet here. And come to stillness. Bringing your heels energetically towards the ground. Maybe they meet, maybe they don't. Bringing your hips up to the sky. And once again, walking your hands to the back of the mat, meeting in a forward fold. Inhale, rolling yourself up to Tadasana, hands overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. This time you're going to lift up your right knee in front of you. Your thigh is parallel to the ground. Exhale, extend your right leg straight out in front of you. Hold, hold, hold. Rebend your knee. And coming into tree pose, again, you can have your foot on the ground, you can have it on your calf. You could have it on your inner thigh, wherever you're comfortable. Bringing your hips squared to the front of the mat. 
shoulders down and back out of your ears. Feel free to grow your band branches. Whatever feels good in your body here. Explore those different sensations. Happy Monday, at least Monday here for me. Might not be a Monday for you. Hopefully it's a Saturday or a Sunday or feels like one at least. Bring that leg back to center, extend it long again, and stepping forward, setting up for a triangle pose. On this side, your front knee, your front foot. <laughs> right foot is facing the front side of your mat. Your left toes are 45 degree angle. Your hips are facing the long side of your mat over to the left. Your arms are coming out to a T, parallel to the ground. Your gaze over your right hand. You're gonna hinge forward and then tilt. Tip your little teapot. Reaching up with your left arm. Your right arm is coming down. Maybe it reaches the ground. Maybe it stays right here on the inside of your calf. However is perfect. Can you bring your left shoulder back a little more? Can you bring your left arm up higher to the sky? And this time we're gonna come down, bending our right knee, skandasana to the front of the mat. Toes are up. You're welcome to have your heel up or lifted. Once again, that is up to you. You can also have your hands here on the mat. Oliver, Ollie, what you doing, baby? He is seeing, exploring the world or something. And from here, we're gonna take a seat. However, it's comfortable to get there. Keeping your left leg extended out long. Reaching up, inhale, exhale, hinging over to that left foot. Your hips are facing the back of your mat. After you have hinged as far as you can round your back, your hands are on your calf, on your ankle, on your foot. Exhale, maybe you go a little deeper. And start to work your way up. Now this time bring your hands to the front of your mat, coming into a pigeon pose with your right leg forward. You can adjust your foot so your shin is parallel to the front of your mat. Then again, it is totally fine to have your foot in backwards as long as your hips are squared to the front of your mat. Your left leg is out long behind you, starting to come down. Maybe you come down to your elbows. Maybe you release your head down to your hands or the mat. Enjoy a moment here in Pigeon. Parsvo Kanasana. And bring your hands under your shoulders. Start to work yourself up. Tuck this leg back in and come to a tabletop position. We're gonna take a thread the needle. 
So bring your right arm extended up to the ceiling or the sky. Take some wrist circles and thread it through, bringing your right temple to the ground. Your left arm can come up overhead. You can take a bind behind your back. Whatever feels good, you can of course leave it here too. And bring your left hand back in front of you, unthread right arm up to the ceiling and place it back down. This time sweeping your left arm up to the ceiling with wrist circles and through bringing left temple to the ground and right arm up overhead. Or of course, take the bind, whatever you did on the other side, even out over here. And bring your right arm back close to your face. Left arm comes back up and down. Bring yourself to a comfortable seat facing the front of your mat. I'm going to face you. Crossing your legs. And inhale, sweeping your arms up overhead. Exhale, bringing your right arm down to the right side. Left arm reaches up and over to the right. Your gaze is up through that elbow. Inhale, reaching up and exhale. Left arm comes down, right arm comes over to the left. Peeling that chest open. Inhale up both arms and exhale, reaching forward, rounding your back. Come up to a seat, change the crossing of your legs. Inhale, reaching your arms up. This time, exhale, left hand comes to the right knee, right hand behind you, a gentle twist. Your gaze can be out to the right or behind you. I'm gonna look at Oliver while he chews on sticks, his favorite. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, twist the opposite direction. Right hand comes to the left knee. Left hand behind you, your gaze to the left or behind you. Inhale, reach back up one last time and exhale, fold forward, bringing your hands in front of you. Rounding your back however it's comfortable for you. Inhale, roll back and exhale, come all the way down to your back. Hug your knees into your chest and rock side to side. Now let your knees fall to the left, bringing your arms out to a T. Looking over to the right, make sure to bring your right shoulder to the ground. You're welcome to have your eyes closed by this point in the practice. And come back up through center. Now let your knees fall to the right, bringing your gaze to the left and your left shoulder to the ground. It's okay if your knees don't reach the ground, but make sure your shoulder is.
Finally, coming back up to center. You can hug your knees back into your chest. You're welcome to take a happy baby here if you enjoy happy baby. Bring your heels to the ceiling. Maybe you straighten one leg and then the other. Maybe you keep them both here bent. And when you are ready, come into your final savasana, your final resting position. Your palms up for receptive energy, palms down for more grounding energy, spreading your legs out, taking up space, snuggle your ears down out of your shoulders. And relax, deep breath in and out, releasing what happened, what hasn't happened. Releasing the week ahead, the week behind you. Just going with the flow and being present in the moment. You are welcome to stay here in Savasana as long as you would like. When you are ready, roll to your favorite side and come into a fetal position. Using your bicep as a pillow, if that feels good. And when you are ready, coming up to a comfortable seat. I would like to thank you first for showing up for yourself and second for joining me. I appreciate you sharing this time with me and space with me today, wherever in the world you might be. If you enjoyed this and some of the other flows I've shared, please share, please subscribe, reach out and let me know what you think. Thank you.